So now we can move on to open forum. Do we have anybody signed up, Keisha? Yes, Madam Chair, we have five people signed up. Um, okay, would you go, like to go ahead and read? Sure. The purpose of the open forum section of the county board meeting is to allow public input and or information to be presented to the board that does not require action by the board. Personal attacks of any kind against another person, commissioner or employee are not allowed. Campaign type presentations are also not allowed. The time limit is three minutes per speaker with a maximum of five speakers per open forum. The time limit may be shortened or extended at the direction of the board chair. Discussion that requires additional time beyond the original 15 minutes will be recessed to can continued following the conclusion of the required board meeting, business meeting agenda items. All input or information is to be addressed to the board of commissioners and not to members of the audience. Speaker handouts are public information. The county may make copies of such handouts for the public if needed. Mm -hmm. Finally, the board chair will ensure that the open forum policy is followed. Oh, thank you. <clears throat> Next, we have Terry Dickinson of Big Lake speaking on the First Amendment. <clears throat> First Amendment, Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof, or abridging the freedom of speech or of the press, or the right of the people peaceably to assemble and to petition the government for a redress of grievances. Since January, we have been begging for a public hearing to discuss the voting system that we do not trust, do not want to use, and do not want to pay for. Our petitions for a public hearing to redress our grievances have been arrogantly denied by our county commissioners and they avoid their duty to respond to our grievances. Instead, the citizens of Sherburne County were bulldozed over and new equipment was purchased at the insistence of County Auditor Treasurer Diane Arnold. Each and every commissioner voted to support the purchase of the new system while ignoring our petitions for redress of grievances. The system cost over $654,000 in December of 2015 for the 2016 election, and I have heard rumors that the new system is around $500,000. I would appreciate clarification, please. During the recess of the April 19th board meeting, I pressed Commissioner Danielowski to stop dancing around the issue and support a public hearing, to which she rendered an obscure but positive response to a public hearing. Even though County Commissioner, um, County Dickens, Administ Administrator Ms. Bruce Dickens, Messelt immediately Dickens, refuted Dickens, any you're out of order agreement and, and audit, and so did Diane Arnold. Still, my County Commissioner yeah. had given an obfuscated agreement to the public hearing, so I followed up with emails to her and the scheduler on April 27th and 28th. Ms. Dickens, I you never are out received of order. a response for Commissioner Daniel. Is, Excuse me, sir. I'm a public. Ms. Excuse Dickin, me, the board sir. chair has. Excuse me, sir. No, Ms. I, I Dickin, am an American you citizen. You are out of and order. I, I am not. Bailiff, I, would you help this, uh, sir, Ms. Dickin, Just a minute. Please. I never received a response from County Commissioner mic, Danielowski, please. but I received. Wait a minute. The, the, the sheriff said I took an oath of office to solemnly swear to support the Constitution and uphold your rights to be the most important function to the citizens of Sherman County. your shot. I think now we will move forward with our uh, regular agenda.
Madam Chair, with the board's permission, can we take a one minute recess so I can uh, confer with you? Sure. One minute recess, we'll be back. And um, pursuant to board policy, uh, does allow for reopening of the open forum at the end of the business meeting. Uh, Ms. Dickin has indicated she would like to finish her comments. She's been made aware of the policy and the particular issue of personal attacks against commissioners or employees. And I believe she will be able to finish her remarks. Uh, I think I have the time at about a minute and a half. So we'll complete it with about another minute and a half. Ms. Dickin, if you're available. Uh, I think we had the first half. So uh, to be fair, Ms. Dickin, to be fair to everybody, let's stick to one and a half minutes, okay? First of all, I apologize for mentioning you by name. It won't happen again. During the recess of the April 19th board meeting, I pressed a commissioner to stop dancing around the issue and support a public hearing to which she rendered an obscure but positive response, even though the county administrator immediately refuted any agreement, as did the auditor. Still, my county commissioner had given an obfuscated agreement to the public hearing, so I followed up with emails to her and the scheduler on April 27th and 28th. I never received a response from the commissioner, but I received an intimidating re response from the county administrator that included, I have confirmed with the commissioner as to her initial request and the board's subsequent consensus direction. There is no direction to reschedule or to schedule a public discussion regarding your organization's issues or concerns. The county administrator is to refer questions or comments made or materials presented regarding election issues to the appropriate and responsible authorities, such as the Secretary of State, federal authorities, the county attorney, or the sheriff. Seriously, threatening to call the federal authorities while we have an unprecedented January 6th political prisoner as a direct result of American citizens who questioned the controversial and untrusted election system of 2020, Go ahead, refer to this to Sheriff Joel Broad, whose 2020 statements included, I took an oath of office, solemnly swearing to support the Constitution and upholding your rights to be the two most important functions I have to the citizens of Sherburne County. I think it is time for Sheriff Broad to step in and investigate willful disregard for the state statute. Yeah, the chair did gavel you, but we appreciate you propping up your comments. It's up to the chair, I'll defer. I think we've given you opportunity to address your issues and I think we'll close the open forum now. Thank you, Ms. Dickin. I think you need your coffee cup. Your water bottle, something, so, okay. Okay, now we can adjourn our regular meeting. Yep. And we're going to...